new president for one of the biggest universities in the world, Iran's Islamic Azad University. This university was set up in 1982 as a private establishment. Today it enjoys more than 1,700,000 students. Its alumni are made up of 4 million people that have contributed greatly to Iran's workforce. The first president of Iran's Islamic Azad University was Abdullah Jasbi, the man that helped shape this entity for three decades, making it the biggest in the world in terms of the number of students. During the administration of Iran's former president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, he was removed from his post and Farhad Danishu replaced him. Now with the new administration in power, he is saying goodbye. On Thursday, a farewell and welcoming ceremony was held in which Hamid Mirzadeh replaced Donishu, who was in charge for less than two years. The changes in the university right after the change of administration in Iran has caused much criticism, especially in Iran's parliament. Iranian parliamentarians argue while the changes at Islamic Azad University are legal, the timing could have been better. When we discussed this in the Education and Technology Commission of the Parliament, it wasn't important who is leaving and who is coming to power. We questioned the methods used and the timing. These changes just at the beginning of the school year are questionable. Some others agree with this view. Based on the university's charter, its board of trustees has legal rights that they can pursue, but they should choose the right from wrong, especially for making such changes right at the beginning of the new school year. The harshest criticism yet is by the head of the Cultural Commission of the Parliament, Ghulam Ali Haddad Adel. He says those that are happy with the changes today will regret it later. He says the Parliament will surely investigate the issue. However, other Iranian lawmakers believe if the board is allowed to decide, then they should be the ones making the decisions, the same way the previous president was removed. While we thank Mr. Donishchu for his efforts, it's the decision of the board of the university and it should be honored. The same board that brought him to power has decided to remove him. If we have given the permission to the board, then we should allow them to fulfill their duties properly and we shouldn't politicize the move. As the new university president takes power just as the school year starts, even those that argued against the change hope for the best. Now that the decision has been made, Pedro Khaidadi, Press TV, Tehran.